You're watching the Dogstone Channel. Hello there YouTubers, this is Doug from the Doug's Den channel. Right, it's long overdue. I'm finally having an overnighter. I'm driving down to Fetford Forest and I'm going to be meeting a friend of mine and we're going to be spending the night under the stars, sleeping in hammocks and just having a chill time. It's been long overdue, the weather's been crap. The weather's nice today, so I thought why not? He mentioned he was suffering from four wall fever. I am to a certain extent, so yeah, why not? So that said, I'm not going to sit around here too long, I want to get going, I've got to meet him about 3 o'clock and we can get this thing underway. I'm going to do a little video about it, nothing too long, I ain't going to go on and on, I want to spend my time chatting and having a good time rather than filming, and you know how awkward filming can be when you're doing these things, so it's just going to be a small little video. Right, onwards. <laughs> Right, so we're here. Are we here with Andy? Do you want to say hi, Andy? Hello. Andy's just getting the uh, stove ready for a nice cup of tea. He's pumping away there like a fiend. Right, so Andy's got his own YouTube channel. If he'd like to explain what it's called, because I can't make head or tail out of it, <laughs> would you like to explain to the viewers? Yep, my channel is uh, Tukanu. Do you want to spell that? Uh, I would if I could remember. <laughs> I know it's T-O-C. T-O-C-A-R-N-O-E, which comes from the other interest, which is canoeing. But to get me canoe in the water, I need the car, so two car canoe. <laughs> Simple as. <laughs> so yeah, check out Andy's channel. He's got some good videos. He uh, gets up to Scotland every now and then, and it's an absolutely stunning location. Well, I'm going to have a little film about. Am I allowed to film your bed? Shall I show people where you're going to be sleeping tonight? <laughs> right, that's where I'm keeping tonight. And I think I'm going to be as snug as a bug in a rug in there. I've got my sleeping bag. And let's go and have a look where you're sleeping, Andy, shall we? And Andy's going to be slumming it in there. No, you've actually, you've got a lot better... Um, set up than me. It's, uh, I'm quite envious with the size of your tarp though because obviously if it, if it does rain you've got more cover. But it'll do the job. Did you want to have a look at this um, pool beef? Yeah. Pork beef, pork pork, <laughs> pork beef. <laughs> yeah, she chopped um, a right old lump off, right? <laughs> she, <laughs> took, she took it out of the oven, right? She took it out of the oven. Um, um, I mean, what I'll do is I'll just fold it and keep it just in case. Yeah. We don't want to screw it up if we're going to... Yeah, so you don't want obviously to give it away. I wouldn't be doing this panoramic if I if I thought it would tell people where we are. I mean, yeah, obviously they're going to know we're in like, the forest, that's obvious, yeah. yeah, but it's a large yeah. forest, so. But yeah, that's, uh, this is where we are. And so far, what have we seen? Just one, what are you hiding for? <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> now, we've only seen motorbikes, haven't we, mate? That's all we've seen. A um, yep. few motorbikes, we saw nothing else. It's nice and secluded. I've got to film that Andy. That is the funkiest, the funkiest kettle ever. That is the funkiest kettle. I'm actually in love with that kettle mate. I was impressed the first time I saw it. <laughs> and it whistles like a kettle's supposed to do. Come on, there we go. Whistle, whistle. Too much. That's a kettle mate, that's a kettle. He 
dit qu'elle est au tune. <rire> oh, brilliant. Yeah, so uh, that kettle, to all the young ones, is what kettles used to sound like and what they should sound like today, but they don't. That's a, it is a reminder of my childhood though, because yeah. there weren't really electric kettles when you was really young, was there? It was, no, all, it was all stick it on the stove. Oh yes, yep. Oh, coffee, coffee, right. I'm not really a coffee drinker, but mm. it, like one them. every now and then is all right. Um, I prefer a coffee because it's, especially this all-in-one. Do you know I what? Should, I should really make up my own, really. I'm going to put a milk in there. Because that powdered stuff's... Oh, I'm going to have to have another Jaffa cake. Come on, have a Jaffa cake, mate. <laughs> You've got to have one. And these ain't the Tesco own brand. These are the big fitties, aren't they? Yeah. Look at these two Jaffa cakes. They're lovely. Let's squash that one. So, yeah, let's talk about strippers. Are they strippers? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I've done about what, uh, ooh, 10 metres of skirting board, uh, uh, 13 flights. Uh, you're going to have to eat them Jaffa cakes, otherwise I'm going to have them. <laughs> no, you're going to have to. I've still got, like I said, I've got another pack in there, so just help yourself, mate. Don't want to see, don't stand on ceremony. Caffeine and sugar. I don't suppose now's the time to tell you that it reacts badly with my system. Does it? Sometimes I get hyper as fuck. <laughs> they ain't got to eat them, I'm just saying. They ain't got to eat them. Zeb, if I'm bouncing around like Zebedee, mate. <laughs> oh, I was now a good time to tell you that I snore if... like a trooper. <laughs> I fucking snore, and I'll tell you what, you're lucky I'm not drinking as well, because if I... She said, hey, so why do you bring a couple of cans of lager? I said, no, I'm not bringing alcohol. And when I get pissed, oh, I chat some shit in my sleep. <laughs> Apparently the other night, the other night, Ailey reckons, I was, I was, I was like, I came in, I came out to bed, I was pissed. And she's like, uh, she said, you was talking shit in your sleep last night. <laughs> I said, what was I saying? She said, get him, Kevin, beat the shit out of him, or something like that, yeah, or beat him or something. And I said, what? And she said, who's, who's Kevin? I said, well, I've got a cousin, Kevin, yeah. He's an he's a, he's a army PT instructor, um, but I don't remember dreaming about him, and I don't associate, I, I've known a few Kevins, but I don't know any Kevins, so where does Kevin come from, I do not know. Yeah, apparently, I was telling this Kevin to beat the shite out of uh, someone. You know, some, what you said, it was, um, that's well out of order, that's well out of order. You need a good idea or something like that, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah but I'm pissed. I find, though. Drinking. I'm on those. Did I tell you before what I drink those? I came off them. McEwen's Champion. Fucking lovely. Because mm. I like ales. I do like my ale. And uh, I found these McEwen's Champions and they're really strong. They're like nearly four units per bottle. But you have a couple of them. It just sets you off nice. It's it's nice. Then, you, it's lovely. then you end up washing it down. <laughs> I did a bottle of wine the other night. So I did a bottle of wine, then I washed it down with a couple of cans of lager. And the wine was absolutely stunning. It was gorgeous. I do not. <laughs> I hadn't had wine in ages. I was actually in store, and uh, just Friday night. So it's 10 o'clock, I'm down the wine aisle. I thought I'd grab myself a bottle of wine. This copper's come down the, the aisle, yeah? And he's looking at the wine. I said, um, excuse me. I said, wait, no drinking on duty? No drinking on duty? He said, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> but I'm serious. I said, yeah, you're not allowed to be served alcohol, are you in uniform? I said, they've got to refuse to sell you. No, sell you. Alcohol. He went, oh, yeah. He said, no, not allowed. It's illegal to sell a uniformed police officer alcohol. He said, oh, no. He said, no, we're here. He said, um, dealing with a couple of herbits. He said, no, I thought... He said, I'll just have a quick look while I'm here. Yeah. I said, why not? Why not? He said, yeah. He said, no, apparently. He, said, he goes, they stole a little bottle of rosé. He said, oh, I'd be bloody worth it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he said, little bottle of work, little bottle of rosé like that they stole. <laughs> I said, well, if you've got to go for a bottle, you might as well go for a big bottle. Yeah, go for a big bottle and make sure it's proper plonk <laughs> rosé. It's a woman's drink. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I've drunk rosé. I've drunk rosé, but it's, um, no, it's too sweet and sickly. And yeah, it's not a man's drink. It's not a man's drink. It's a woman's drink. It's not a man's drink. <laughs> Unless you serve it in a pint glass. Yeah. <laughs> Pint of rosé. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. 
And if you find Bigfoot, give us a shout, because I'll be running in that direction. I'm just going for a little walkabout. And he's checking something out over there. I'm just going to have a little scout about and see what there is to see. Yeah, there's no one here. We had some dirt bikes go past earlier, but that was it. On the way in, there's a lot of horse tracks on the, uh, well, horse prints on the track coming in, but I've not seen any while we've been here. Where am I going? I'll go this way, I think. I think I've done a wrong one here. thing over there can you? Can't see a thing. We're over there somewhere. Should have put my green fleece on because I stick out that sort of fun in this grey hoodie that I'm wearing. Gonna take a little walk up here and see what there is. Yeah, you can see there's been a lot of horse movement down there. Yeah, there are some vehicle tracks, but there's not that many. hoping I don't bump into anybody. Right. Nah, there's nothing going on around here. Let's go see what Annie's up to. Gonna have a small little fire. Got like a fold up barbecue so it won't get out of hand. Ah, there we are. We're in there. You've really got to be looking for us. That sound really travels, you know. That really travels. Yeah, there's nothing up there. There's that track, and then it sort of forks off. Yeah. Goes off like that. Yeah. And that's an upside down fire. Yeah. Sometimes you, you, know, you start small and you build it up out to the big stuff. As you sort of feed it in, I've got the big bits at the bottom, smaller and smaller. You well, I've thought about doing it that way before. It, uh, each, each to their own. That makes sense. Yeah, if you had to clear on the ground, if it was safe, you could do it. You could walk off and then keep harvesting more, do whatever you want to. 
Okay, I've had a change, um, put this green fleece on because I was a bit conspicuous in my grey top. We've got the fire going, we're going to be having some pulled beef and seeded penny meats with salad and I can't wait. I'm hungry, you hungry? I'm hungry. starving. So we're going to be eating in a bit, um, do a little bit more filming. Well, I've got a bit of light but I can't see it lasting much longer. Right, back in a bit. So is that the like folding barbecue? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nifty little thing, isn't it? Cheap thing from um, Aldi. I thought, yeah, give it a go. God, bloody heat from that already. Yeah, I can feel it, yeah. <laughs> Strange that, isn't it, fire? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it is. Is there a pyromaniac inside me? But it's just, I love what the dancing flames. I actually, it's, it's a living thing, isn't it, fire? It's a living thing. Yeah. It breathes, it grows. And it's got attitude. And he thinks I ain't seen him just hide the digestives. <laughs> <laughs> I saw where they went, I could see them right there. I know where they are and I know where the Jaffa cakes are. Yeah, I know where all the food is. Oh, we've got a nice little fire going now. That's better than a treat, mate. <clears throat> Is Andy, the master fire starter. <laughs> he's not a twisted fire starter, he's just a normal fire starter. <laughs> and we've got a little bit of wood. Just a little bit. And that's our ceiling for tonight, mate, isn't it? Yep. Not bad ceiling. We've already tried it and it's absolutely lovely. Cheers, Abe.